Hello again, another video from me. This one, in this one, we're going to find the coordinates of the stationary point of the curve y is equal to 2 sine x minus x for x being between minus pi and pi and determine their nature. So I, we've got to find the points where the derivative is equal to zero and then use maybe the second derivative to determine whether they are maximum points or minimum points or maybe even a point of inflection. Um, notice we've got a sine x, so we're going to be working entirely 100% in radiant measure. So, y is equal to 2 sine x minus x, for x being between minus pi and pi. If we differentiate that, uh, differentiate sine, we get cos, so we're going to get 2 cos x, and the differential of x is just uh, will be 1, so it's minus 1. And we'll find the second derivative now. So the derivative of cos x is minus sine x. We're just going to have the second derivative using the correct notation being minus 2 sine x. Okay, for finding stationary points, we need to find where the gradient is equal to 0. So we need to put dy by dx is equal to 0. So selecting the right one here, we're going to put 2 cos x minus 1 is equal to 0. Remember, we'll solve that. Cos, 2 cos x is equal to 1 cos x is equal to one half. So in this question, we're, we're mixing trigonometry with uh, calculus. To solve that, we do cos to the minus one of one half, and we need to know that's pi over three. And uh, you need to learn the table for, the, for those, please. And using the South Asian tennis club idea, or if you're in South America, South American tennis club, then what you do is you make your angle in the appropriate um, quadrants, we want to know where this is positive, so where it is cosine positive, that's going to be this quadrant and that quadrant, so we make the angle with the axis pi over 3 here and here. We're solving for minus pi to pi, so going this way, anti, um, anti-clockwise, that's minus, um, sorry, clockwise, that's minus pi, so coming back that's going to be 0 minus pi over 3, so that gives me x is minus pi over 3, and this other one from 0 plus pi over 3, that gives me pi over 3. So we've got two stationary points, now we've got to determine whether they're maximum or minimum. To do that we're going to be using the second derivative, so checking for maximum or minimum using the second derivative. Good idea to write down the second derivative at this point, d squared y dx squared is minus 2 sine x and then when x is minus pi over 3 we're going to have that the second derivative is going to be minus 2 sine minus pi over 3. Let's have a look at this. So sine in the fourth quadrant, that's where minus pi over 3 is, is negative. So this bit's negative and minus 2 is negative so we've got a negative times a negative and a negative times a negative is a positive which, according to the second derivative test, means that x is minus pi over 3 is a minimum point. Remember, if it's positive, it's a minimum. If it's negative, it's a maximum. So, repeating that for when x is pi over 3, so we're going to have the second derivative is minus 2 sine pi over 3. Well, minus 2 is negative. Sine of pi over 3 is in the first quadrant, so that makes it positive. So we've got a negative times a positive. Negative times a positive will give me a negative, which according to the second derivative test, x is pi over 3 is a maximum point. Right, so far so good. Now we need to just do the last part, which is to find the y-coordinate. So finding the y-coordinate, and again, good idea to write down y so you don't end up substituting into the wrong thing. We're going to have when x is pi over 3, we're going to have that y is 2 sine minus pi over 3 minus pi over 3. Again, we're just going to have a look at this. So in the second, uh, fourth quadrant, which is where, where minus pi over 3 is, it's here, remember, sine is, is negative. So sine of pi over 3 is root 3 over 2, but we're going to have to make it minus root 3 over 2 because in this uh, quadrant, sine is negative. So we've got 2 sine minus root 3 over 2. Minus minus means plus pi over 3. And therefore, these twos will cancel out, and we're going to end up with pi over 3 minus root 3 from that. Just stop the video if you're not sure and have a little check. And then, repeating for the other one, when x is pi over 3, we're going to have that y is 2 sine pi over 3. 
minus pi over 3. Now sine in this quadrant is positive, and sine of pi over 3 is root 3 over 2, so it's going to be 2 root 3 over 2 minus pi over 3. And the twos will cancel out, so we're just going to end up with root 3 minus pi over 3. So without a calculator, there's not a lot more we could do. So the conclusion is the minimum point at minus pi over 3, comma, pi over 3 minus root 3, and a maximum point at pi over 3, comma, pi over uh, root 3 minus pi over 3. So this has been a video to show you how to find the... Uh, stationary points and determine the nature of a curve, a trigonomic curve, uh, 2 sine x minus x. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video and have got something out of it. Thank you very much for watching.